welcome back this is video number five and in this video we will look at how to input data using the admin page okay at this point our server is not running so we need to run the developer environment by navigating in the virtual environment type in source being activate and see in source directory and run manage.py run server okay so we'll open the application and to open the admin we will type slash admin and this will present us with the logging dialog box and we need to type our username and password to log into the admin page but currently we don't have any username and password so therefore we need to create one by going to the terminal and type manage.py create super user so i logged in to this computer with the username abaji it will suggest that here if i want to maintain that same username i will just press enter and it's asking for the email address describe your email address and the password type the password again okay the username is now created we will run back the server and try to log in with that username and password okay so we can see we now logged into the admin portal but at the moment we cannot add any data because all we see here is to create groups and users but what we want to do now is to input data into our table that we created in the last video we will have to register the model that we created in the admin page we'll have to go back to our source code and open admin.py which is in the same place where models.py is sitting we double click that and tag the code i've already typed the code in the blog so just go to appcoms.com and look for video number five you can search it by typing django05 or just scroll through you'll see django5 or you just go to tutorials computer inventor using django and scroll, scroll through until you see video number five all right so at the moment we just click on that and take these two lines of code or you can just type it and go and paste it right here in admin.py save that so what this code will do is it will look for models.py which is sitting in the same place where admin.py is so we will do that models import computer it will go into the models and import this particular class and then it will now register that register that class in the admin site so we save that and go back to admin page and just click refresh you can see computers now appear so now by clicking add it will give us the form to input data in the table that we created now we can input data in our database computer name can be my pc ip address we do the mac address username and location and click save voila so you can see we have got one data what we are seeing here is it is returning the name of the computer because of the code that we put in the models of py return self.computer name if i wanted to return ip address i will take that and put it right here save it and refresh this page you can see now the ip address is coming i can even do one thing i can try to return two names let's say plus 
self dot computer name and save that refresh it you can see it is showing us both both the IP address and computer name I can even append a space okay IP address plus space plus self dot computer name save it and refresh the page you can see how that works we will add one more computer and click on save this is how simple it is to input data in Django tables using the admin page you can even delete computers from the table and click on yes the data is gone so please subscribe send in your comments and see you in the next video and in that video we will look at how to customize this admin page to customize this admin page in a table format and we will add in some search features and a little bit of customization and i hope you enjoyed this video please send in your comments and subscribe